great. Great, great stuff. Hi guys, I'm back. And this is going to be a great video for all, for all of you. Yep, yep, yep. What I want to talk about today is BLM and Antifa. You know, your, your, knights, in, uh, your knights in uh, shining armor. For the people. Helping the people. Not destroying your lives. Destroying your businesses. Making people run in terror, fear. Oh no. They're not running in terror. So, here's what I have with BLM. I'll start with these guys. Now, everybody's think, oh, you're black. You're always going to be for BLM. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I hate BLM. I hate them. They don't represent me. I think anybody that votes, or, or not votes, but, you know, supports BLM should probably be put in jail. Or, at the very least, ridiculed into oblivion. You know? There's for BLM, they think it's okay to run down the street talking shit, scaring people, which people do lock their apparently business are now locking their doors when they're running down the street, which is was a very, very telling. When you have people um, locking their doors and stuff when you're going down the street, that, that doesn't show a good precedent for your organization at all, does it? It, it really doesn't. Because when you when you show your organize when you when you're walking down the street and people people want to close their doors, that means they're scared of you. They're not happy about you. They're not cheering for you. They're scared of you. So this is a power trip for you guys. A power trip that you know that you love because people are actually in great fear of you because they don't want to be either hurt, killed, or the business or their business is destroyed. Do you guys like going down? Uh, uh, do you guys like trying to get white people out of their homes and taking their homes and, and feeling like, oh, you're you're her so hurt, right? That's okay, right? That's not that's not racism. That's not racism because you know they they deserve you. They 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 deserve to have their homes taken away. So you could go in and live in it and let those people live on the street. Family, kids, doesn't matter. Because the people of today obviously wronged you. They were obviously racist towards you. So due to that, they, uh, they, that they uh, had this horrible thing that happened to you um, over a century ago, if not longer, that, they, that the people of today are definitely slave traders. They should definitely um, you should take their homes. Make them go out in the street with their kids, dogs, family, and then be just like you. <sighs> so you want to make other people suffer so you can reap the benefits of the good, uh, reap the benefits of what they had. Now, if that's not being a fucking dick, then I don't know what is. To me, that's just being racist. A dick and a racist, honestly. Because you want to take from people. This isn't about them. This is about black people. You just want to take. Take, 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 take. I don't see a bit of you, uh, a bit of you BLM people actually helping black people. No. You're making us look bad, actually. The thing is, all of us are ignorant, dumb, stupid. Gotta love it. See, here's the thing is, I don't actually like you guys representing me or trying to talk to me. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, uh, I, I, here's how I feel, and this is what bad. And I'm like, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. listen. You don't speak for me, okay? That's, that's, that's the first thing. You don't speak for me. You are not me. You don't have my experiences. So shut your fucking mouth. 
Listen, BLM, you don't speak for all black people, all right? Because not all black people are ignorant and dumb as fuck as you, all right? They're not the people that want to keep on taking from others. Now, I know the government lo- loves you and lets you riot and, you know, hurt people and not want to put you in jail. And if you are put in jail, release you because, you know, you're so so-called innocent. I know the government likes to do that. Yeah. Protected. Pretty protected. I don't like you guys. I don't like what you do. I don't like what you do to people. And I don't, I don't like the fear that you put into others' hearts. Just because you're around. There's also uh, a point where... You, uh, the BLM, you guys... When you found out that the person that was killed by a cop was not a black person, you stood up and walked away. You walked away when it wasn't a black person. fuck's wrong with you? I'm going to be honest. That's pretty fucking racist. No, that is a definition of racism. Because the person was not black, he was white. So, all screaming terror. Oh, God. It's fucking awful. White black person killed by cop. Terrible. Oh, white person? Nah, fuck him. He ain't important. Don't care about him. He's white. He wronged me. Even though um, the white people of today have nothing to do with the actual racism of what happened to you guys over 100 years ago. The kids being born today, babies, 12-year-olds, 5-year-olds, even their parents, Shit, probably even your grandparents have nothing to do with the racism or the slavery that happened to you guys so many years ago. So many decades ago. Yeah. I know that's kind of a hard pill for you guys to swallow because you guys are legitimately racist in your own right. So, you know, I know how it is. It's kind of hard for you to swallow. Being told the truth. Now what you guys like to do is like you like to label all all white people as like these criminals. And saying this white privilege crap. And you know what? I'm really tired of that white privilege crap. I really am. You people sick of me. I also think that's a very racist term. Because I have friends that, have to, that suffer from all across the globe. Some from people from Tennessee. People from Washington. Colorado, every last, hell, California, because I have a lot of friends online, you see, so they're spread out, so I get a lot of, you know, um, different people's experiences and their different struggles, you know, because every single person has a struggle, no matter what color you are, what race, everybody has a struggle, you hear that, everybody. It's not just black people. And you're going to have to tell me, Mr. BLM fuckers. What do black people have that white people don't have? And you're going to really have to tell me on that one. Hmm? What can't you not get that white people can't get? Pretty sure you guys can't tell me. That's because it doesn't exist. End of the day. And you guys think racism's okay? Go like a Chauvin trial. That man for killing a black man is being tried for being racist and put in jail. So the country's not racist. It's not systematically racist either. Because, well, that guy's being put in jail. So, 
By the way, I never had a I never had a job deny me because I'm black. For the ones that I did apply back in, you know, all the places I lived. And the places place that I did get hired from. They didn't really deny me either because I was black. In fact, there was two or three other black people there. Nobody was acting racist. Nobody was denying them. So where is the systematic racism coming from, exactly? I, I really want to know. Because I'm not seeing it. You people are, are dumb. Ignorant. Stupid. Don't know nothing. And think you're all high and mighty. Well, let me tell you. You keep on poking the bear, the bear's going to strike back. And it's going to strike back hard. And you guys are going to be left on the street. Like you deserve. You all deserve to be left on the street. Why? Because after all the terror, the rioting, the fear, the killing, innocent kid got shot because of you guys. So when people strike back and you, and, and you, and you're wondering why, it's because you deserve it. Every last one of you BLM people deserve it. And I'll switch to Antifa as well, because Antifa deserves it as well. Antifa goes around attacking people in their cars in black, in full black, terrorizing people, and they're not getting punished for it. And again, Trump is also to blame for this because Trump didn't try to actually legitimately do something. He should immediately put his foot down and try to stop Antifa and BLM from doing this. I get that he was trying to let the states, you know, do their own thing and, and, and punish these people in their own right. But in reality, he probably should have put his foot down and have all the feds stop this immediately. Stop that on the ground. Because Antifa's not helping. Antifa's tearing, is terrorizing people. They're coming out with guns now because they're not being penalized. There's terror in the streets. There's fear. Terror. In the streets. Because the government won't do anything. That's a problem. And I think that needs to stop. Antifa deserves everything that they get as well. They're not angels. BLM, Antifa, they're not angels. And the media keeps defending these people like they're gods, like they're like they're angels. Like they're not terrorists. They're not killing people. What I want is for Antifa and BLM to go to every last people, go to all the doors that, ever, that, that they support them. And see what they do. See what they do. Because as long as, you know, you don't agree with them, they want to punish you. They don't care who you are. Black, white, they don't care. Business, businesses in the uh, George Floyd places uh, is in fear because of the increased violence that's happening there. And they're asking for police help because of the violence. Well, that's what you get. Y'all don't learn soon enough. And unfortunately, us people, the good people, have to suffer because of it. Some of our families may get shot, injured, killed. But, you know, it is what it is. You guys get what you deserve. Unfortunately, the good people of this country that's trying to live out their daily lives have to suffer for your own stupidity. Hope you have fun with that. Alright, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you guys in the next video.